Welcome to our tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to make a funky loopy bow. You're going to need your mini bow dabra, the hair bow tool and ruler along with some bow dabra bow wire, assorted ribbon and tool, scissors, seamstress tape, and a lighter. Um, and then for the hair bow hardware we used a French clip. I hope that you enjoy our tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a funky loopy bow. It's a nice big bow with a lot of ribbon. Um, but what's cool about the bow is it's pretty easy to make. To make the bow you're going to start off with 25 inches of ribbon um, attached to a French clip. I tied the wire, the bow dabber bow wire around it. I did add a dab of glue just to keep everything in place. I've dovetailed the ends. And then you're going to grab the ribbon and I usually, I guess the loop is about two inches high. Grab the ribbon, put the wire around it, and then I usually run it through and knot it just to keep it in place. There you go. So that's your first one. Pull it tight and then Grab the ribbon again, make a similar size loop, bring it around, and you just run the bodabra bow wire through, and the wire just holds it nicely in place. Eventually you're going to separate these loops, but for making them now, you'll just want to keep all the ribbon together because it's just easier that way. Put it through. So I'm just tightening the wire as I go. And I'm going to make a total of five loops. And I gave myself extra ribbon as well. It's just good to have extra than to go through all of this and not have enough. So let's see, I've got four. Here's the fifth one. Okay, and you can kind of separate them a little bit so close together. And you can run another knot here with the wire. Okay, and then you're going to leave a little bit of the ribbon tails so that it covers your French clip. So to dovetail the ribbon, you just take it, fold it in half, and cut it at an angle. And let's see, that probably, I could have done a little better with my cut here. Okay, so there's my first one. Once those are all cut, to keep it from fraying, I do heat seal my ribbon. So I just run the lighter of it real quickly and it keeps the ribbon ends from fraying. Okay, and then I can trim away my wire and I'm just going to add a dab of glue onto the wire so that I know that it won't come apart 
And I'm also going to add some glue on the bottom of the French clip as well, just to keep my final ribbon in place. So this is the start of your bow. You can then go ahead and start to separate the loops. And kind of just put them, kind of tried to reverse the direction so the white put to one side and then the other. Now this bow is pretty just by itself as well. So this, you can add more ribbon or if you wanted a simpler bow, um, this bow also is very pretty by itself. But to add the extra ribbon, you're going to use your mini bodabra along with the hair bow tool and ruler. You're going to need, it isn't quite 18 inches, uh, I think I probably have like 12 inches of wire here, because you're going to have to make four bows to go in between the loops, so I kind of tried to be conservative on the wire. Then this is six inch wide tool that I folded in half, and then I cut so it was four inches long. I used pinking shears to cut it. Um, place one into the mini bodabra. And then I have four inches of ribbon. I dovetailed the ends and then heat sealed it. And then you just add your, your bows into the center. And then also I had some corker ribbon as well. And I have one piece that I did for the very end and I have another piece that I did for the front so I kind of have a balance and um, let's see one final piece of tool then you scrunch down with your wand and you pull the bodabra bow wire through pull it tight pull it tight the other way Bring it around the back and knot it. Okay, and then once you have your bow, it has all these nice pieces of ribbon. It then goes in between your first loop. So you put it in, and then tie it along the French clip. I knotted it twice. I just tie them all on and then go through and trim away the wire. So once that's in there you keep adding the bows um, and it fills up. The smaller bows fill up the larger bow. So we'll continue to make more bows. I've added the final one um, you can go through and really start to trim away all the extra wire and everything so let's flip it back over I've double knotted each of the bows So let's see this the end. You can just fluff it, move the loops around, um, the ribbon sprays, the tool, just to kind of to make it look full. And 
And these bows are perfect for any time of the year. You just choose your color combinations um, for what you think fits best for the occasion. We have fall right now and Thanksgiving coming up. So I tried to make something that would work for fall or Thanksgiving, but the blues in, in, in the bow as well will work for the holiday. Um, so once you finish, you can place the insert of the French clip back in. I had to take that out originally. And then you have two matching funky loopy bows that look perfect um, for pigtail. I hope that you enjoyed our tutorial today. To learn more about Bodabra products, please visit bodabra.com. The products can also be found on the shelves of most major retail craft stores. To stay up to date on our latest craft tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.